What's going on YouTube? This is your boy the Chocolate Baby. I want to say hello to all my loves, y'all. But this is going to be a quick video, as you guys know. You know, I'm impatient, baby. I can't do nothing too, too long on here. But I just want to talk about discrimination regarding the LGBTQI community. Um, a couple weeks ago, I believe a week and a half ago, a transgender woman, uh, Dominique Fells, her nickname was, I think, Remy, Remy, she was found floating in a river in Pennsylvania, I believe the Shukia River. Uh, they found her body floating. It was her body was dismembered, and also another transgender woman. And well, Dominique was she was twenty seven. However, the other lady in Ohio, her name was uh, Raya Milton. She was twenty five. But these two ladies were found murdered. And what I don't understand with our community is why can't we just accept people for whom or he or she, who they are or who they resemble or, well, not so much resemble, but who they connect with internally or mentally. If they believe that they see themselves as being a man or woman, they've been, you know, just trying to be their authentic self. Who are we to tell them what, what they are? Who are we? Who, like, who, who are we? I don't get this with people. People want to tell you, well, who you are. Well, I know who I am, and this is what I want to be referenced to, the pronouns, and that's who I am, but who are we? But I don't get this. I just feel like in our community, black people, we just can't allow people, especially transgender people, to be whom he or she is. I don't get that. And even Trump even revoked um, uh a law that was put in place, a uh, transgender uh, protection law that was put in place by the Ob Obama era, he revoked it. So even with that law, it includes like if a transgender person wanted to transition completely from male to female or female to male, or um, let's say that they were even having uh, health conditions and went to the hospital, a healthcare worker could you know, say, well, I'm not comfortable treating you, you're transgender, they could sort of not treat you because of your what you identify as. And I just think that's horrible, y'all. I think that that sends a signal to people that these people are treated less than. They're not human. They're, they're, they're subpar, almost like a fetish. We treat them as like a other, a other, like a monster or someone that's hidden in a closet. And, and I just don't get this. In our world, it's ever-changing. It's ever-growing. Why can't we just accept people for being who they are? And I think slavery and even Christianity, the Bible, has taught people that, well, they go by strictly by the Bible, what they want to include or not include, or what they want to go by or not go by. I think even even seafood, we're not supposed to eat seafood, pork, but, but, but we do it. But regarding the LGBTQI community, it's just so condemned and treated horribly and just discriminated against. But I don't understand why we follow we don't follow other things, however, regarding sexuality, sexual orientation. It's just something that's horrible, that's just heinous, that's just dirty and filthy. And even with Trump not even him revoking this, transgender people are being murdered left and right. They need protection. We need protection. It's for all of us. And even with the Black Lives Matter movement, which I'm in limbo with that because I'm, I identify I'm a black male. My sexuality is small. It's not something that's cumbersome to me. It's just a small, minute thing. It doesn't, you know, encompass who I am completely. It's just like a little piece that's in a corner. But I don't understand that people of the LGBTQI community, they should be protected as well. I don't understand that transgender women are being murdered left and right. And I don't understand how people could feel like that's something that's okay just because a person wants to live their life with who they feel they are here and here a person shouldn't decide their their fate i don't i don't get that this world is a cruel cruel place you guys like i just never even with me coming out with my sexuality in my early 20s i started working when i was 15 16 so even if my parents didn't agree with me i didn't give a damn i'm a grown-ass man i was going to do what i wanted to do when i went away to college I was ready for people to say something. I was ready for them to not accept me because I was cool here in my heart and in my brain. So if I had to not talk to family members, um, cease or discontinue relationships with people because of my sexuality, then that was just going to happen because I refused to live in a closet. 
I refuse to not show who I am because of what someone else might feel regarding my sexuality or my sexual gender or what they assume I should be or who I should be with. That that wasn't going to happen. That wasn't going to happen. And even now, I think, you know, even some people in my family have, have a problem with it or don't agree with it. That's fine. If you if you don't agree with it, you don't have to agree, but you will respect me. You will respect me just like I respect them. So you don't have to agree. That's completely fine. But you will respect me, but I refuse to live my life in, in the closet. And I just think this world regarding, like, gay people, especially black, black people, we do not, for some reason, transgender people, gay people, we have a disdain for them. And I don't understand, like, why so much hatred and just anger and animosity. I just, I don't, I don't get it. And even people like politicians, public figures, they're, they're treated like a, like a sex object, just something that you play with if that's like a fetish almost. But it's just horrible how we treat these people. Men and women, transgender people have been murdered left and right. And it's like no recourse, no protection. Just let them go being murdered and slaughtered, which is just sad and just pitiful. But comment below, y'all. Peace.